What's going on my G's, Ben McCauley here and today I'm going to show you how to create log drum sounds. I'm going to be showing you how to create log drum sounds using stock synth plugin in Logic Pro X. This is a very simple process and yeah, let's jump right into it real quick. Now the synth we're going to be using to create this uh, log drum sounds is the EFM1 synth. In the EFM1 synth, there are two bass presets that you can actually create a very decent log drum sound from. Those two bass presets are the Dark Attack Bass and the Detroit Bass. I'm going to start with the Detroit Bass and I'm just going to walk you through the process. To create log drum sound from this bass, what we're going to be doing is just adjust our ADSR. We're going to be adjusting the volume envelope and the modulation envelope, right? This is the ADSR. ADSR. It stands for our attack, our decay, sustain, and release, right? So let's listen to our starting point. This is what the bass sounds like. Now you can already tell that this sounds close to a log drum. Now the only thing we need to do is just design the sound a little bit to get the sound perfect, right? Or at least close to perfect. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our volume envelope, drop the release down to zero. Bang! <laughs> we're going to do the same thing and drop our sustain to zero. Bang! So now that we've done that, let's see what that sounds like. I mean, this already sounds close to like a very nice log drop, right? And then the next thing we're going to do is turn the decay down just a little bit till the bass starts to sound more like a log drum, right? I mean, this sounds very, very, very good. This already sounds like one of the log drum variations you hear on records today. Now, the next thing we're going to do is go over to the modulation envelope and do the same thing. Turn the release down to zero, the sustain down to zero. Let's see what that sounds like. That's a very nice log drum sound right there, right? And then we're going to adjust the decay to get the log drum to sound even more tighter. So I'm just drop that down a little bit. Yeah, it sounds like a sounds like a very, very decent log drum sound to me. Another thing I like about messing around with the modulation envelope is uh, you can actually use the decay in the modulation envelope to like craft the texture of the log drum that you're trying to create. For example, you might want a log drum that sounds weird. I'm just going to turn the decay up, right? I'm sure you've heard that sound in a lot of our piano records, right? That's how you do it in Logic Pro X. And there's one more thing that we can do to kind of make this sound even bigger. We can turn the unison on. Or not. Or turn it back on. I mean, you do whatever you like. But I'm just going to turn this down again just to back to traditional log drum sound. Oof, sounds very good. Let me turn unison off. You see, we already have a log drum sound. So there you have it. That's our first log drum sound from tweaking our modulation envelope on our volume envelope. You can see how you can get at least two or three, you know, log drum variations from these bass, right? So we're going to go over to the next bass. That's the dark attack bass and create another log drum variation from this bass. You can actually create the log drum sound in Yeba Buluku from this bass. Let's hear what the bass sounds like before doing anything to it. I mean, that's already sounding like a log drum, just like the first bass. The same process, we drop the release down to zero, our sustain to zero. Let's hear what that sounds like. All right. And then we drop our decay down to say about here. We're getting somewhere. And then we'll go over to the modulation envelope again, the same thing. Release to zero, sustain to zero. And that sounds like a very tight, you know, yeah. Log drum sound. By the time you layer this with a bass, man, this is gonna bang. Lastly, we're gonna adjust the decay. If we turn the decay up a little bit, or turn it down, yeah. This is literally how you can create log drum sounds using EFM1 synth. I'm going to play this beat I just made. I use this method to actually create one of the log drum sounds that I'm using in this beat. So I'm just going to play the beat for you so you can listen to it.
have it. There's one more VST I want to show you, which is actually quite sick. This is actually an actual log drum VST. I was online one of these days and I stumbled upon the ad for it. Look at it. So this is a log drum VST by producer sources. Now this is quite dope because there's like tons of log drum sounds in this plugin and it's very dope. I mean, I'm using it for this beat as well. I'm using it for the first set of log drum sound and I just combine that with, uh, right, you can hear that. I just combine with the sub bass, that's it. Mad. Having different kinds of log drum sound in your beats is actually quite sick as well because then the sound is changing from time to time. Because imagine going from, from this guy to this next one. Yo. That's sick. In case you don't have log drum samples and you don't have this log drum VST that I just showed you, I mean, this is how you can create log drum sounds in Logic Pro X using this EFM1 synth. Like you saw, it's actually quite simple. I mean, you can actually pause the video and copy the setting that I did. It works for both the Dark Attack bass and the Detroit bass. And you can get like a very, very nice log drum sound from that. So I hope this helps one person that is trying to make my piano music in Logic Pro X that don't have, you know, maybe the log drum VSTs or log drum samples to work with, right? This is another way to get log drum sounds. So don't forget to browse the channel and subscribe, like, share the video as well. Let's spread knowledge. Let's all be dope as fuck. All right, cool. <laughs> That's it for this one. And I shall see you on the next one. A peace.